Hi, I'm Paul Asbell for Archtop Foundation, and uh, this is another in the series of uh, discussions on um, the, uh, the wonderful Chinnery guitars from the Blue Guitar Collection. This one is by Kim Walker, who's actually a friend of mine and a wonderful guy, an incredible guitar builder, and interestingly enough, one of the very few of these builders who also is well-known, uh, legendary actually, for his flat tops as well as arch tops. In fact, I believe that Kim is not building arch tops anymore, which is uh, the world's loss, I might say. Um, this is the, uh, it's a, quite a decode um, version of the guitar. Some of these uh, guitars are kind of spare and, and ascetic, and this is not that. It's got some really beautifully crafted uh, touches. There's, um, in addition, of course, the very standard F-hole and binding, but there's red purfling that um, is part of all of the guitar, kind of all of it around, you know, it's obviously around the body, it's around the F-holes, it's around the binding on the tailpiece, it's around the fingerboard, it's actually around the really interesting inlays, which I'll discuss in a minute, on the fingerboard. It's obviously around the headstock. So um, if one was actually tallying up on a builder's website all of the, uh, the uh, trimmings and trying to figure out how much one would be paying for this custom guitar, this would be up in the upper category. Kim spared no... Um, uh, um, you know, these, this is the top of the line in a sense. Um, there is something on the headstock that I will give some time to discussing. It's really interesting. But one of the, uh, the things that's kind of amazing about the inlay structure on the fingerboard is there's a um, motif that really goes all the way from this one to this one to this one. These are, as you can see, blocks that of course get thinner as the frets get closer together, but inlaid into the pearl uh, of the, you know, of the inlay itself is number one, a little moon. That's at least what I assume it is, and a larger planet. And um, as of course they get smaller, as they go on, you almost makes me wonder if there's some sort of astronomical significance to it, but I'll, I'll have to ask Kim. And then that motif actually finally culminates in the tailpiece. So he really thought about how to do this motif. Now let's talk about, uh, so yeah, so you can kind of see it there. Now let's talk about the headstock. You can see that there's an elaborate inlay carving, um, and you probably can't see what it is. It's a peacock, and there's a very important significance that, at least originally, only two people really knew. It was apparently a little in-joke that Kim made to his dear friend Bob Benedetto, um, and uh, Bob Benedetto someday will tell the story about what the significance of the peacock is. Uh, I don't want to be the one to blow it, but uh, suffice it to say there's a story in there. And it's an amazingly rendered peacock. Um, and oh, incidentally, I just noticed as I was doing that, that that planet and moon theme is also back there and there. So Kim missed no opportunity to uh, kind of work that in. It's a beautiful guitar, and Kim is really just one of the acknowledged masters of this craft. So um, it's a pleasure to play, it's a pleasure to look at. Um, marvelous guitar.